Meantime, let's bring in uh, Brian Sullivan now. Brian just spoke in, per in person with the person. The President Biden has assigned the difficult task of trying to bring oil prices down. What did you learn, Brian? Well, it's not an easy job, Tyler, as you know. In fact, oil price at 122 a barrel. But the administration is working behind the scenes, working with both the U.S. oil and gas sector and with Saudi Arabia and other nations around the world to try to increase supply. His name is Amos Hochstein. He is a special envoy for energy security, and he is arguably one of, if not the most important people in America right now for energy policy. He has the ear of President Biden. He travels the world. In fact, he's trying to help broker that meeting and that deal with Saudi Arabia. I'll get to that more in a second. We're at the RBC Energy and Power Infrastructure Conference in New York. We sat down with the most just a few minutes ago. We began by asking about, of course, gasoline prices and where the lack of refining capacity in America plays a role. In the last two years over COVID, we shut down additional refining capacity in the United States and even more than that in Europe. So we, that, those are refiners that are not coming back. We have to acknowledge that. So we have to manage an ecosystem where we, have, we need more oil production, more gas production, but we also need more infrastructure and more abilities yeah. to make sure that our inventories on the East Coast are filled in time for crisis times like hurricane seasons, uh, the winter, et cetera. Yeah. We have to make sure that we have those supplies there, and we're going to do that. But we are not, if you look at the projection for demand, of energy consumption around the world and in the United States, as we electrify more and more, we are going to need to also uh, do something about demand. And that's where the energy transition is not about which side are you on. It's not, are you, a, are you an environmental guy? And I press Hochstein on production as well and U.S. producers, are they putting more online? And the SPR release as well. We got into all that. And I asked him about the effect of the SPR release, maybe not bringing down the price of oil. He said, well, where would the price of oil be had we not done it? It is, to be honest, a fair point. Here's part of that interchange about the SPR and the role that Wall Street is playing in oil production. That production is not going to come online until towards the end of the year. So what we've done is we've put a million barrels a day on the market between now and the end of the year. At that point, as we retreat... The private sector will by then be putting on another million barrels a day. I think they can do more. I believe they can do more. They believe they can do more. But their constraints are not just the labor force and other things. They can manage those. But they have real fiscal concerns because, quite frankly, it's not Washington. It's New York that's creating the it's problem. Here? Around here in this city, there are the ban banking community and financial community that is saying, look, if I have to choose between you increasing production even further... Or, and, and reducing dividends and share buybacks, I'd rather you did a combination of both. We would rather that they increase production, especially in short cycle production yeah. that can come online relatively quickly, uh, beyond the million of barrels a day that we're gonna come on this year. And we already know that about 800,000 is gonna come on in 2023. We're doing our part. It's just that it's not enough, and it's not only about oil. And Tyler Hochstein is the person who is trying to broker that meeting between President Biden and the Saudis. I pressed him on it. He basically said, well, I'm not going to front run the president. We're working on it. Saudi Arabia may be in the card. So no confirmation there. But Hochstein is the one who's been on a plane. He's been in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia a lot in the last couple of weeks and months trying to broker that deal and maybe broker more oil as well. That entire interview, and by the way, the president taking maybe a more pragmatic approach to fossil fuels in the last few months, the industry here even admits that, that whole interview should be up on CBC.com later on today. But Amos Hochstein, one of the key people behind the scenes trying to help bring down oil and gas prices.